Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It's your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing the second generation IWC Portuguese chronograph. This is reference 3716-06, part of the in-house caliber series that debuted in 2018 with the Jubilee models. Uh, this is regular production in stainless steel, now 41 millimeters in diameter, 13.2 millimeters thick, 48.1 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Taking a quick look on the wrist, it is the classic look that has made the Portugueser Chrono the best-selling Portugueser of all time on the market since 1998. It ran forever as the 3714, becoming the 3716 with an in-house caliber, first as a limited edition watch for the Jubilee in 2018, and then later, as you see here, regular production. It is thin enough to fit underneath a jacket cuff, but the bezel is a little bit cantilevered, so it will hang up on a tight dress sleeve. Taking a quick look across the wrist, it's relatively short, being only 48.1 millimeters. I can recommend it for wrist as small as 13 centimeters circumference. It's not as big as other Portugueseers. Taking a quick look at the case, you can see a combination of satin and polish and a strap of high quality to match. There's a formality to it with gloss, large rectangular scale alligator leather construction, lots of bolstering to give it thickness, a monotone stitch, a sheer cut and thick edge, and then calfskin in black on the underside. You can see this is a brand new IWC factory strap, no crimping, no gouging, and it is equipped with a full IWC double deployant clasp. And you can see that it is a combination of satin and polish externally and high polish internally, giving you a little bit of extra protection against dropping your watch when you take it off or put it on. Now about that satinated and polished case, it's very simple. As with the Portuguese family since 1939, the lugs are integrated. You can see the lug hoods are polished, contrast with the longitudinally satinated flank. The bezel, both top and underside, is of high polish for contrast. And then we have a lovely set of vintage-inspired uh, mushroom or pump-style pushers. We have a crown that is a push-down, 30 meters water-resistant, with the IWC logo and motto on it, Probus Scafusia. We have a slightly cambered domed sapphire over a metallic blue sunburst dial. It is a no-date dial. It features a Ray Hawk outboard featuring a way to read your minutes, seconds, and fractions of second. Lovely polished indices, as well as Art Deco style minimalist Arabic numerals. Remember this watch, its original design, the reference 325, was a product of the 1930s, and this takes after that right up to and including the use of leaf style hands for the hours and minutes. Now we have chronograph seconds at center and then we have chronograph minutes at 12, constant seconds down at six o'clock and the watch does include a hacking or stop seconds function. It also includes a vertical clutch. So when it starts up, there is no play or jump in the chronograph seconds hand and you can actually just leave it running full time. If you like center seconds with the vertical clutch, that's not a problem. You can see the other side of the chronograph mechanism, which is the column wheel. You can see here it's been polished. It feels and sounds fantastic. Remember the original 3714 Portuguese Chrono used a modified Velju 7750, which had a less crisp and positive cam based system. So this is caliber 69355, automatic winding with a magic lever style Paul based winding system, 46 hours of power reserve, five position adjustment, 27 joules, it beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. And of course it has that vertical clutch column wheel tandem with machine finishing, but handsome finishing, including polished screws, circular coat de Genève across the bridges, engine turning on the base plate, and then a combination of polish on chronograph components and satination on wheels. It is a good looking movement. Five position adjustment, that is generally the standard for high horology and chronometers. And I'm happy to say that that is the standard IWC uses for this watch. I should also mention that the original Portuguese Chrono did not include a display case back. So that is a feature that is new on the 3716s. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.